A lot of the DIY garden hacks and weed killer recipes and things like that that you see, they all have one ingredient in common. Do you know what that is and do you know why they use it? Keep watching. I'm Dave Marciniak with Revolutionary Gardens. Why am I here in the kitchen? Because we're talking about an ingredient that you see in a lot of garden landscape hacks, you see it in a lot of like DIY fertilizer and herbicide recipes and things like that. And that is dish soap. You see that in a lot of these recipes. And so the big question is, why do they use it? Does it have some sort of herbicidal property? Is it something that provides fertilizer? Not at all. In fact, the reason why people use dish soap in these recipes is because it's what's called a surfactant. And the main reason that we use a surfactant when we're using an herbicide, for example, because that's where you see it the most, is if we just spray the straight herbicide on there, what can happen is the water can beat up on the leaves and then it runs off really easily, doesn't really make great foliar contact with the plant. Whereas on the other hand, if we put a surfactant in the mix, then it provides a nice even coating all across the plant leaf and it's absorbed a heck of a lot easier. So that you can see exactly what I'm talking about when I say that a surfactant actually helps coat the leaves a little bit better and provides better, your, better foliar contact, I went ahead and I grabbed everybody's favorite plant to hate out of the backyard, pokeweed. Um, this is about all you're ever gonna see of this in my house because it's pretty unpleasant. I know you can eat it, but that's not gonna happen. So this is just straight water. And you can see, or hopefully you can see, I'll go ahead and try to turn that a little bit so it catches the light. You can see that the water has just beat it up on there. There's no real, there's no real solid coating on that. It's just individual droplets. And what we wanna see is we wanna have a little bit more coating to make the application a little bit more effective. Now, on the other hand, I've taken my water bottle and I added a little bit of dish soap to it. And so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and spray it. And you can see that's actually, yeah, you've got some bubbles coming up from the soap because I probably put way too much in this. It's normally a teaspoon per gallon. Um, this is far from being a gallon container, so I didn't feel like doing the math. But even at that, you see the bubbles, but you can see, look at how much more coverage you have. So if you're trying to get something that's absorbed by the leaves, whether that be a foliar fertilizer, or an herbicide, you're gonna get a lot more success if you use a surfactant. So this was a quick one, but I hope you found it useful. So now you know why dish soap is used in a lot of these recipes, it's because it's a great surfactant. I'm Dave Marciniak with Revolutionary Gardens. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and go ahead and subscribe because you get a lot more like this on my channel. Again, I'm Dave Marciniak with Revolutionary Gardens. Until next time, get outside and play.